So the reason that we did that work was because we wanted to have the same type of these boxes looking consistent in the typographic layout throughout the magazine. So let's find the other boxes that look like that and make sure we get them all using the same settings. I'll use my page navigation. I found one. Zoom in. Doesn't look right, does it? It's because we haven't applied that grid style yet. But with a single click, I'll do that. And now this box is consistent with the other one. Now, if I um, really pick on my typography, what I might also like to do is have the first line of blue text line up with the first line of black text. You know, have those two baselines aligned together. So I'm going to go and do that. It's quite easy, very easy in Quark Express 8. All I've got to do is make sure that I turn on the snapping setting for the page grids. I'll activate that up in my view menu and turn on snap setting for page grids. Now, all I have to do is grab, not the box, or I could, I'm going to grab the baseline itself, and you'll see that baseline is snapping to the other baselines on the page. That allows me to get right in there and align those things. Very nice. Well, my grid work is done, so what I'm going to do is turn off the grids for now, so I can focus on something else, which I want to get exactly right, which is my the my margins, the way that my text aligns with the margins, and you'll see the blue text here is kind of uneven on the right hand side. That's because there's so much punctuation in there. Commas, hyphens and more. What I want to do is to visually adjust that margin to get a smoother appearance.